Okay, time to go back to the Kerbal Space Program and see if we can actually get a a shuttle first to Mun, and then if we can get it to Mun, maybe try to actually get it to land on Mun. We're gonna go to the assembly building here, and you know what? Just gonna clear that one there. You didn't need to see that one. That was a test shuttle thingy. Um, what I do want, well. You can tell I've got different command modules here. Let me explain what some of them do. This one is for building airplanes, basically. Shuttles that kind of emulate an airplane, have wheels, can, I believe, take off and land. Don't necessarily go to space. I haven't actually built one of them yet. I don't really want to. Um, this... I'm not exactly sure what it is. Some type of shuttle cockpit, obviously. I don't know what other thing it goes to. I haven't built this model yet. This one, however, goes to a, a space shuttle, you know, like the Discovery or Atlantis, and it's about 12 pieces or so that all link together and can individually break off, so it can actually sustain damage, and it's quite massive. The only unfortunate thing is it's not very well balanced, and if you build it and don't even put any other rockets on, um, it can pretty much make it to Mun all on its own, I believe. But we might be doing something with that later on. Maybe trying to land on Mun and then take off, because you can put wheels on it. So we could have some type of moon plane that we could test out with that. I'm not sure yet. I think what we're going to do, though, is use just the regular old Command Pod 1 here. And we're just going to goof around with the original Command Pod. I want to see what we can what we can make here. I have a ton of parts that I have downloaded. I'm not going to link them all. Just go to the mod database that I link in the description of the video and browse the mods for yourself. I believe for most of them you actually do have to make a, an account on the Kerbal Space Program forum. So if you're kind of against making accounts to download parts, then uh, there's not really any choice for you. As far as I know, unless there's a, another Kerbal Parts database out there that, that I haven't been able to find yet. But, here we go. I think, um... Well, we could build the Saturn V and then mess around with that. It's got a lot of parts, though. And honestly, I don't know the correct way to build it so that it actually launches. So, we're going to save that for a future video. And what should we do here? Apparently I can... No, I can't still build the shuttle. Certainly not. These are the shuttle parts for that one shuttle I was talking about that has 12 parts or so. I believe you can actually even put things inside that cargo bay that will pop out like satellites. This right here... We'll go ahead and put that on our little command pod there. We could put a radial mount parachute on it. No. Could put a parachute way up there. I think we'll pass on that. Um, what, other, what other toys do we got here? We've got all types of giant decouplers, so we could hook that up and strap a larger engine to it. I believe on some of these things, you can actually, yeah, you can hide things in them. Um, I haven't actually got around to messing with those, so that is going to be for a future video as well. Whenever I actually know what the hell I'm doing with these advanced parts, like you can make space fairings that encase modules and then break apart. I yeah, it's more than I can handle right now. Um, different decouplers here, so you can stack up to say. Here we go. We'll be using this, I believe, a tri-stage flat decoupler there, dual stack coupler. This is a nice long decoupler there. I don't know if we'd get around to using that. Ooh, a quad coupler. Well, that could be fun. First, we need to decide what we're going to do here. I think underneath here, we're going to try to make... Ooh, a lunar, man, a lunar module descent stage. That's interesting. Another one. How about we put that there? And then... We, I cannot strap that. Okay, a liquid fuel tank for the KW Lunar Excursion Module. Put that there. And then... 
No, they can't go like that. There's a huge gap. I don't think they would leave that. They might. Insulated fuel tank. Don't need to use that. I'm going to be doing this a lot, seeing what parts will fit and what parts won't. Um, an ascent engine. I've probably done something wrong here, to be honest. Some of these parts are very specific. And they won't work or fit on anything else. A nuclear thermal rocket engine. That would be fun. Uh, what else do we got here? I'm looking for more stuff by Kyle and Weston, the guys who made that. Bunch of stuff by Sunday Punch. We'll be seeing tons of his mods in here, I think. So I'm not exactly sure how to get this engine on here, which is highly unfortunate. Something goes there, and I just haven't figured it out. There's the Saturn V instrument module. Does this go there? No, it does not. A self-contained attitude stabilization pod. More RCS stuff, I believe. Cargo decoupler. Good lord. I'm like a kid in a candy shop right now. There's just too much stuff here. You know what? I don't think that's going to work. We're just going to build our own lunar module. Because I don't know what to attach that to. What, can I not grab it now? I will crush you. Can I delete it? Well, apparently I have broken it already. How about attaching that right there? Oh boy. Can I attach anything to this? No. You know what? Junk it and start over here. That'll be the quickest way to remedy that problem right there. Um, I am going to go ahead and put... Where's that tower again? I am going to use that. Primarily because it's neat looking and primarily because some of these mods are, like I said, not balanced. And that's just going to add additional weight. I think it's a fair trade. A backfire retro rocket. I will put that there. Do I want an SAS module there? I don't believe this top part actually needs an SAS module. I'm going to give it two... F well, actually, hang on. This is where I want... This is where I want the legs to be so we can land this. So what we need... I need a very small fuel tank. Here we go. Place that right there. And then a very small engine. A lunar module descent engine there. Another ascent engine. Actually, you know what? I don't really like that one. Here we go. This is kind of the same type of lunar module I built last time, except uh, we've got backfire retro rockets here instead of the RCS that are not nearly as powerful. Uh, max thrust 70, 65. I want more thrust at the very end to get the job done and bring us to to a safe landing there on the MUN. What's the size of this rocket? I'm going to show you guys some really huge rockets here in a minute. Um, there's the two fuel tank. So this is what we're landing on. Where's the legs at? I believe... There we go. Set that up. We just need... Well, let's do four legs. Be a four-legged beast. Just in case we come in at an odd angle. I think that'll help. And I'm going to set them, well, I think we want it as far off the ground as possible so the blast doesn't hurt it from below, maybe? Or should we set it down a little bit closer? We'll set the legs further down. I guess that'll work. Um, now what we need, again, I'm pretty much building the same type of module here as last time. Where's my decouplers at? Good lord. Five pages here. Now we could add a tri-stage decoupler right there. Does that fit? Damn, it does not. What about
about this? That fits, and now... Will that fit? There we go. So it kind of straps it, straps the module to this next stage of rockets here. And... Where's some fuel tanks at? That's interesting. Not exactly what I want. I would love to find what that goes to. But I'm sure that's a specific part. Um, how about, what do we got here? Those are quite large. Yeah, let's do that. We'll strap... No, I want triple symmetry here. Apparently I can't. Okay. We'll build it by hand, then. And we'll have to strap all of these together. It's a lot of fuel. Guarantee you this thing breaks apart. Actually, speaking of breaking apart, I'm gonna have to put some SAS on this or we're gonna wobble so hard the whole thing will shake apart. I might also put wings on that. Oh, are you telling me? No, you. Oh, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, don't tell me that I can't attach fuel tanks to that. It was just bumping into that. That's two. Let's try three fuel tanks here. This is more fuel than we should ever need. But, we're going to use it anyways. Thermonuclear engine rockets. Max thrust 100. No, we need more thrust than that. Thrust 150. 200, 175. 400 thrust. Wow. We're gonna have to really sturdy this up, or it's gonna snap under the under the force of the thrusting there. So let's go ahead and add some strut connectors here. We'll see how this works. No, dang it! I have to do this manually too, huh? Okay. Can I please remove the struts? There we go. And just link all these together. These are, um, I've, I have tested these field tanks before and they are not very stable. And we are not even close to being done building this thing yet. So it's just going to get even more unstable weight wise coming up. Uh, yeah, even strap them together there. Hopefully, this will be enough. But it's probably not. Underneath here, what should we strap onto these ones? We could do a four stage like this. No, I don't think of. I don't think that would work. Oh, wait, what if I did that? We're gonna have to lift this rocket up even higher. We're gonna be breaking through the ceiling here soon. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then that. And then that. And then... How about a little bit of that? And... A little bit of that. I don't have much faith in this actually holding together as soon as we try to launch it. I'm gonna just add some more struts right now before I forget. See command, structural, structural, barrel rule, and aerodynamic. What we want is right here. Take this and latch it to that. I don't have to do all this manually because I don't. Tr I don't think the computer will do it. Latch it there. I may have to do a lot more than this too. We'll test it first before we get, you know, too crazy. There we go. Now the question is, what do we add here? What should we... I don't really want to use more of these fuel tanks. We're going to need something with a lot of thrust to get all of this weight off the ground. What else do we got under propulsion here? Could strap... Could we do that? 
on all of these. These are the Saturn fuel tanks right here. I don't think that this is going to work, to be honest with you. This is just a bit ridiculous. I think this is dreamer land right here. And we'll have to probably lasso those together too. So what is that? The Saturn stage 3, does this go to it? Max thrust 80. I think that this engine is for when you're already in space, to be honest. So maybe we'll put those there. Where's the biggest Saturn stage? It would be stage 1, when it's got to lift the most weight. Saturn stage 1. Oh, I wish that I could put that right in the center there. Damn, I don't think I have a converter for that. Hmm. Do we? I doubt it. I'm sure the stage one would be able to lift us. No. Again, there's a lot of specialized parts in there, but this is stretching it right here. This is just on the... on the borderline of stupidity, and people don't normally plan for that. Okay, so we can't do a stage one. How about we do... Can I do it to stage two? There's a stage two fuel tank. No, because that'll be unbalanced right there, too. So I'm going to have to do single fuel tanks in here, dang it. Not exactly what I was wanting to do. How about we just use... No, we'll use more of these, I guess. There we go. I guess this shuttle here, this this rocket here was built by the, the same company. Well, that's a large tank. Wish I could get that in the center and then strap a rocket to it. Wow. There's some crazy things you can build, I think. If you just screw around long enough and figure out how to hook it all together. Okay, so we've got that. I don't think this is going to be enough thrust, though, dang it. It's 200 thrust. Wait, 400 thrust is what I want here. 200's not even going to be close to enough. Okay. Now let's ratchet it all together. And we're going to test launch it after this. Okay, so you to you. God, these things are massive. I don't think the two struts there would cut it. go. Professional rocket design by Plump. I think this will work. We're getting to the mun with this, dang it. I'm not even going to bother, well, maybe I should bother to configure the stages for now. I should at least check the first stage. So we, we need to know if the first stage will even get us off the ground. If the first stage doesn't work well, you're in trouble. You can adjust the other stages later on. And I need to strap these together. <clears throat> My two main worries are, one, it's going to be way too heavy, and two, I'm not going to have secured it enough, and it's going to shake itself apart if we do get airborne. Okay, last side here. Actually, wait, i got one more thing I want to secure. One more thing. Wait, no, that is secured. How about I secure... Can I secure from... There... To there? Because I'm worried about these... Decouplers snapping off due to the force of the rockets underneath them. And they're just hanging on one little hinge there. Not... Very secure. That's a lot of force on that joint right here. Okay, we're going to, I don't know what we're going to call this. The, the Mega Rocket, I guess. I mean, hell, I don't know. Let's just save it like that and test this out. I didn't configure the first stage, dang it. I wanted to. Okay, throttle all the way up. 
SAS on. My system can't handle it. And we're falling over. Fire the rockets! Okay. Well, <laughs> I think I've got to be... Um, we got a slight balance problem. Real quick. Structural failure. Now... Look at all of these links here. Oh boy. This is a lot of things to go through. Where are these engines? All four of these, I think, are actually on the first stage. Okay, yeah, all of those are on the... F Wait, scroll down. All of those. Okay, all of those light up. And then... These light up. And then it's these ones. What are the what's this? Okay. You know, I don't know why that didn't work. It really should have. We're gonna try you know what? Oh, uh, I bet you it hit the building that supports the rocket. I would almost put money on it. We're gonna fire anyways and try to launch here. Go! Rockets away! Oh god. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I do not believe that's going to work. Let's see. Structural failure. Yeah. Lift off. The quad coupler was damaged. Something's not right here. Something is firing way before it should, I think. When are you firing? No, you, you silly engines. You need to get... Wait, wait, where's this one? Um, yikes. You need to actually get there. Okay, move all these up one. This may, this may work. We can do this. This will work. We can make it. Maybe, maybe I, what I need is more support, actually. Let's try that. We're not going to give up just yet on this one. We're not calling it quits just yet. Um, can I get this to be symmetry, please? That would speed this way up. Maybe a little bit. Kind of symmetry there. It's not perfect. I guess... What the hell are you doing? That isn't working. You're doing it wrong. The whole thing was hooked up wrong. I'm not going to bother to fix it, though. It's still connected. Um, I'll hook that up even more. go and what is is it this that's failing something is is breaking off maybe I need to secure this more just a little bit here let's try just hook it up to that secure it a little bit secure that that's right we got everything hooked up tight here Tire? No. That's bad. Can I grab you? Actually, no, that might work. Never mind. Seeing as how I can grab you, it won't work. What? What? Yeah, I do have those hooked up right there. I can see them supported on the other side. You know, one thing I could be missing here is actually linking these ones up to these rockets and securing them inside the cage there. Just kind of brace them like that so they maybe support each other a little bit. Um, we'll try that. Let's save it. Let's see if we can launch this time. Throttle up. And we're go! No, no, wait, wait, SAS wasn't on. Oh god. I should have turned that on quicker. And this is, you know, we can get this. My computer might die, my frame rate, my frame rate might bite it, but I believe it's possible. That was actually that was actually working for half of a second there. Let's go ahead and first off, we're going to add some wings. Whoops, just Drug my window there on accident. 
hopefully that's lined back up. If not, oh well. Uh, where are the wings at? Lift rating of 7. I need some gigantic wings, dang it. A lift rating of 1.8. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's exact... Wait, no. Can I symmetry you? No, that's not right at... Well... No, because if I do it like this, it's going to hit that building behind me. I know it will. As fun as that would be to test out right there. Yeah, we'll move that up just a bit. There we go. Please be even. If they're not, problems will occur. And what are these? These have jet engines in them. Hmm. I can actually hook things up to them. Neat. Lift rating 1.5. We might we might try that here in a minute. <clears throat> Just to see how it works. Okay. Where is there all everything else hooked up at? So everything's there. This coupler. If we ever make it to the second stage, I want you to go right there. You can break off as soon as these engines ignite. What is this? Um, no. You didn't. You break off right there. There we go. Are you things set to break off? You better not break off ever. Leave that right there. Okay. I don't think we're gonna make it to the, to the last stage just yet. Let's um, save it and try this again here. Turn SAS on, RCS on, throttle up, and let's go. We got this. Here we go. Okay, stay balanced out. No, don't tilt. Why are you, why are you tilting that way? You are perfectly balanced. You're a ballerina, and you're on your way to the Mun Show. Maybe it's just doing some type of roll program. Oh God. Um, let's jettison that. Can I? No. I can jettison the lunar module though. Okay, my stages are completely screwed up apparently. No, just cut the throttle. Where's the rocket? Bon voyage! And, let's see. Oh god, what did I press there? What was that? Some type of fireworks display just happened. <clears throat> throttle up and we're dead. Okay, so, I think really all that's missing is more SAS modules. Or more wings. It's probably just the wings that it's missing. How about we add... Um, can I add another set of wings? I could add wheels. We could try to land it. Lift rating of 2.8? Holy crap. These wings are perfect. They might be a bit heavy, but I think that we can do it. Okay. Um, you need to go down just a little bit. I don't want you clipping that wing above. There we go. That might still be too... a little bit too high. See, they gotta be fairly close to even, otherwise it will throw it off. About right there, maybe. Yeah, that's closer. And I still think something might be unbalanced on these rockets, but we're gonna save it. And real quick, let's add a stage here. Where's my decoupler? Right there. Okay, you need to go right there, and then these three will fire. And then I need a new stage. That will fire right there after these are done. Where are these fuel tanks? You fuel tanks. All of you. Can I scroll up? You need to be right there with your engines. Where's the fuel tanks for this one? Okay, they're both there. Got both of those. We're going to space, folks. It's going to happen. I want, actually... 
where's this one set up at? Yeah, they're all set up there together. That's fine. All of these. Okay. It's got to work. Well, I take that back. It doesn't have to. But, uh, well, hang on. Having just a few doubts here. Thinking maybe I should add some more SAS, but we'll try this out. Turn SAS on. What did we do? We hit something. Engines up. Let's go. Okay, I think those wings might be just a bit, a bit overkill. Yeah, just a bit overkill. So sorry, wings. You were beautiful, but you were too much. We are not building a, a plane here as much as I want to. Space shuttle rudder, space shuttle control right, no. Could put space shuttle wings on this. Jam. Snap tight pieces are what those are. Hmm. A lift rating of one. May cause unintended farm purchases. What are these? Some type of. Can I actually attach them to those wings? That's perfect, I think. Which one was that here? This one. It's in the red. Maybe. Okay, and then this one. Goes there. A few more wings here, and then we're done. We're going to play this little shark fin right there. And on this side. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Get this even. I'm gonna screw things up again. Lift rating of 0.7. Get this. Right there. There we go. Now we're a ferocious aerodynamic machine that is still exploderating for some reason. Throttle up. Second stage go, maybe. Detach. Why are we crashing? <laughs> Structural failure on linkage again. I think it's just too heavy. So you know what that means? One more time. I'm going to do this one more time. I might just scrap this design altogether here in a minute. Or at least take this lower stage off. Because I don't think it's going to work. It was a nice idea, but it might just be... The, I, the theory of too much is actually a bad thing sometimes. So let's go ahead. Where's my linkages at? Go ahead and link that up. What? I think the symmetry just did something and placed placed them somewhere. Can I not link that up now? Place it right there. There we go. I've got extra ones laying around. Come on. No. That's real bad. How many... Links is, did I break there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the last time we'll try this rocket, probably. We'll save the design. Maybe I'll do it some other time. We can try to tweak it. And hook that up. Uh, I'm just gonna add struts everywhere, basically. It doesn't matter. Just securify this whole thing. Quit breaking. You have a mission. You have a mun to go to. Can I hook this up to there? Yes, I can. Hook you up. Hello, I see you stray ones floating around. There we go. I'm gonna cross, cross the struts there. Anything else? Maybe. We should have some struts here. There's just open spaces every once in a while, and, and I kind of want to see them filled in here. There's that one. Um, there we go. And I think that should be good. I really hope that this works. If not, we're going to edit it, I think. Or just try to build something else. So throttle up, SAS on. Something keeps breaking off. And we're tilting over to the side. What breaks? What what snapped on me? Can I pause the game? 
negative. Okay. So this design is just not very balanced, not very aerodynamic. Haven't even gotten it off the launch pad, and it's been like 30 minutes or something here, so... I think we'll just throw that, throw this design out um, from there on down. And, quite frankly, I'm ready to see if this will fly. Um, it's going to be the Mega Mini Rocket now. We'll just save that. And we'll continue to refine the other design. So, we can at least stand on the launch pad now. Turn RCS on, SAS on, and... Um, there we go. Had a few stages to burn through first. And yay, we're flying! Probably going to be a very slow f um, flight. Uh, these tanks here have a ton of fuel. Which is highly, un highly good, highly unfortunate, I'm not sure. Take your pig. Well, maybe they don't have too much fuel. They're lighter than the standard fuel tanks, I believe. But they wobble a whole lot more. Flip, 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 flip. What are you doing? Don't want to know. Playing invisible soccer there. A paddle soccer. So we're through the first tank there and into the second one. And... Here we go. Our cute little orbit. We're actually picking up speed quite nicely. Oh, I want to get that mega rocket into space. Just trying to think of how glorious that would have been. And we had to settle for this one instead. You know what? I've actually got ideas for this one after this mission. This is just a preliminary design. Once we manage to get this one in... Why are you turning? Why, why are you rotating? RCS, stop. Are you on? Did I fast forward it? No. Okay, for some reason we are... in a rotation pattern. Whatever. Are we in line with Mun? Yes, we are. However, because I, I'm unwilling to take SAS off because I think this thing might start to tumble uncontrollably, we're going to just stay in this pattern. I am not going to try to move. Just quit spinning. Cut it out. I don't think wings are made for space, apparently. Okay, so are we through the second tank or is that the third one? We're okay, that's all of them. We break off there. Coastin, we are detached. Final stage lunar module is a go. We are on our way to Mun, hopefully. Should have put some radial parachutes on that. No, I am really not on my way to Mun, I don't think, unless we get lucky here. For starters, I think we're going to run out of fuel. Maybe we can launch ourselves into the sun. That's one thing I haven't done yet. I haven't actually managed to make it out of Earth, out of Sun orbit, or into the Sun, anything like that. And we are out. No, no, we're not out of fuel. Wait, quit tumbling. No, quit it. Wait, sensitive control on, because this is a sensitive rocket. Wait, no, go back that way. Okay, that's where we're headed. RCS, can you actually do any? Thing? Never mind. That's all I got. And it was not enough to get into Mun orbit. Not even close. Okay, we let's fast forward it. Actually, let's separate. Fireworks! Yay! Did that do anything? No. You know what? I don't really want to see us fly all around there and crash back into the ocean. I've got a, an idea of what we're going to add here. This should help us out tremendously. For starters, I'm going to get rid of these little wing flappers here. This fin. Yeah, both of those fins can go. And what we need here is, first off, a decoupler. Or whatever it's called. A detacher. A radial decoupler here. And I think we should probably place it about right about well hang on I want
with some symmetry here. We're going to have two of these things. And we're going to attach a shuttle. Hopefully. That will be balanced and on there not unevenly because I want it to work. It, it's attached even if it doesn't look like it is. Okay, everything should be a go here. Decouplers, where are you at? You are in the correct place, I think. Okay, so now this should definitely get us to Mun. I've got faith. These things work too. So we'll turn SAS on and let's go. Oh god. We can go! We got this! No, we don't. Damn it! <laughs> Okay, did my bottom rockets not fire? Is that what happened there? Where are these rockets? No, they're all up there, damn it. I don't know why I did not see that. Okay. Now everything should be good. This... Actually, this... Should be... Right there. These should probably be right there, too. Actually... Maybe they shouldn't. We'll find out. Seems like a bad idea for some reason. We'll turn SAS on. And let's go. So we've got two shuttles. This is economy rocket launching right here. It's just rocket science, folks. It's rocket science mixed with economics and business. Obviously you want... No, you, obviously you want to be stable. Maybe I should put those flaps back on. Okay. Obviously you want to carry as much as possible. Um... But whenever you can't, it's okay to dispose of the cheap rockets. And get yourself the hell out of there. Fireworks, slow us. Damn it. Okay. What we need is those wing flaps back. I should not have gotten rid of them. They were obviously very important to our success here. Where'd they go? These ones, right? Please, no symmetry. There we go. And... I believe that should do it. Should we try it again? I did not want that engine to fire, though, that quickly. No, that should work, then. Let's just try that. We'll troubleshoot problems as we come across them. To space we go! We're out of here! Please stay stable. I cannot manually control this beast. It's simply too heavy. I think we got this. This should get us to, to space at least. As far as orbit, or anything of that nature, I cannot be certain. These are gonna run out of... No... These might run out of fuel hopefully the same time as these do. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Oh god, please don't shake yourself apart. No, you've got so much to live for. You should have got a whole moon to go visit. Okay, just balance yourself out. It's probably going to shake so hard that the lunar lander here breaks. That's one of my big concerns. Yeah, you guys are loving it. Everybody's loving it. This will definitely increase our funding. Everybody's going to be wanting a ride into space. We can do so many missions at once. I mean, hell, we're going to the moon with this. These two are each taking research teams and parts of the International Kerbal Space Station that they're slowly building out here in orbit around Earth. I think this is the future of Kerbal Space Flight here. The shuttles are now at half fuel, and I believe we're into our final tank right here. I may actually have to extend this and add another fuel tank in there. I think that we could lift off with four tanks. And the more fuel you've got, the better. Shuttles are going to be breaking off soon in order to enter Kurth orbit. Oh god, please do not... No, please, please don't start doing your dumb stuff with your flaps and your other dumbness here. Please quit it. Okay. That's not gonna... It's not listening. I tried to take SAS off for just a second, and... Well... This might be something. I mean, it's not... 
the perfect orbit. Okay. Get ready to detach the the shuttles there. Now where the hell are we headed? And we're out of here. Okay, lunar lander. Prepare to fire. What's our our orbit sucks hardcore. Okay, let's put on sensitive control. And I think if I can get us over there. No, I don't even have RCS on that thing, do I? I need to. RCS helped balance you out tremendously. Like, they would stop me from spinning here every time I overshoot. No, I do not want to fire into retrograde. Thank you for the comments, too. Tell me that the yellow circle with the X was retrograde for verifying that. Okay, quit, quit. We have to fire our engine soon, you bastards. We're losing too much speed here. Okay, you know what? Quit moving. Fuck it, we're firing. No, there it goes. Fuck! We gotta pick up as much speed as possible here. I want to get away from Kurth already, damn it, before I have to load up one of my safe rockets that I know will work. Of course, we could always try to build the Saturn V. No, actually... Like I said, I, d I don't know how to accurately piece it together. And it'll take me probably an hour to figure it out. It's got 20 parts or something like that. It is a complicated machine. Hey, look, we're gaining a decent amount of speed now. But holy hell, we're flying below the plane there. We'll never make it to Mun. Damn it. I was look kind of looking forward to... Getting on the moon. You know what? Just fire all the way out there. Okay. So here we go. We are way underneath Mun here. With any luck, we'll just fly back to Kurth. Another failed mission. Damn it. These experimental rockets are not working very well. Made it quite far out there. And still maintained an orbit. Let's see, where are you at? Oh, we can see it all moving around like clockwork. We're coming home, don't worry. We'll see where we touch down at. And we still have the fireworks that we can shoot off. We... This is a direct impact. Better slow us down a bit. There we go. And, man, look how fast we were going. 3,200 before we hit the atmosphere. We're a little crispy critter right now. And get ready to fire it. 3,000, we'll hit it. Fireworks! Yay! No, that didn't work. Okay. We'll drill into the lands, into the water at least. Sploosh. <clears throat> okay, so the shuttle, the thing actually worked fairly well. All the way, yeah. It didn't have any damage. It didn't damage itself. Uh, you know what? We won't give up on that just yet. Obviously, what it needs is not these damn wing things that start it tumbling. Something has got to give here. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe. And remember, this is uh, this is uh, this is just a big maybe here. Maybe this will work. We'll put the symmetry work like this for me if I place it here. No, I said if I place it right. Okay, I can't place it there, damn it. Place it right on the line there. Try to balance this out a little bit. Place you right there. Would this work? Can I place more shuttles right here? I mean, would this balance it out? I don't know how to make sure that they're even, though. That's the problem. They'll be crashing into the other shuttles like that. How about... Just at the very tip. There. Okay. That won't be hitting, I hope. And... Let's see that? Snow. Right there and we want them to fire on the first stage too so come on down here I don't know what 
you think you're doing. Now this is economy right here. And what? Where's those decouplers at? Right there. What are these? Here, actually, you need to go up here. There we go. And let's try this. Four shuttles. Damn it. Um, did not exactly work. We we're out of here. Okay. Why did they fall off? Ooh, I know why they fall off. I know why they fall off. This is very simple why they fell off. Duh. Obviously, we need to put some struts here. Where are they at? Just need right here to right there. This will make everything better. And that should be good. That fixed everything right there. There we go. That's the duct tape of the space world right there. And let's get the hell out of here. <clears throat> We're going to Mun! Yeehaw! This is definitely how you do it right here. Riding in style. Those two are unfortunately not at an even height, which is probably why we are slightly rotating. Actually, we were rotating before, so... My, this design just sucks. That's why we're rotating. There we go. Uh, let's hurry this along a bit. I'm kind of curious how badly this will fail. Please don't fall into the ocean just yet. Okay, that one actually broke off off of its decoupler. The only reason it's even still on is because of the strut. <laughs> wow. You know what? If this is where we're going, fine, whatever. I can't actually control this thing. Can I help you quit rotating, perhaps? Or am I just going to speed you up a little bit? We're gaining speed pretty good, and we're not falling back <clears throat> to, to Kurth there. I don't know, this might work. It's not the prettiest launch, but if we can actually get maybe into some type of orbit, we might be able to get lucky and pick up a transit into Mun orbit. Well, we're almost out of fuel here. For something. Maybe. This is working better than I thought it would. Okay, we're getting the speed, that's for sure. Here we go. We're kind of on the right angle here. This is actually surprising. 2,000... How fast does this damn thing have to go to get out there? Wow. Floor it. You might not have enough juice to push us out of orbit here. What the heck is going on? Oh, we fell off course. Okay, detach. We're out of here. And fire. I don't want to spend a bunch of time trying to get lined up again. Okay, get ready to cut engines and cut them. There we go. That got us. God dang it. <laughs> that is not even close. I just can't get a stable launch with this platform. I, I don't know why, but I think, yeah, we're going to scrap it after this one. I've got one idea here, one idea, one chance, one shot to hit a popesis here and then on the way back in burn our engines and try to push our orbit into something crazy. Okay, we're almost there and we're swinging back around, okay. So let's line this up, we've got a decent amount of fuel left, that's retrograde, I don't want to do that. I don't think, because that could actually make us fly out of Earth orbit here, I think. Of Kurth orbit. Okay. I have no idea what this purple one means. Do I have sensitive control on? Okay, right now we're coming back in. Let's go ahead and just give ourselves just a little bit of juice here. 
And we should start to see our line here start to move back. As we speed up, it'll push uh, our orbit further back along. And yeah, you can see it moving in pretty good there. Okay, We're not, we won't spend too much fuel on this. I, I have no idea how we'll ever get our orbit matched back up on the right plane for Mun. I'm not good enough to even begin to figure out that gravity maneuver that we would need to do. Gravity slingshot, whatever. Or which direction we would need to burn for it. The great mountains of, of Kerbalstonia there. Kerbalstan. Covered in snow year round. Keep bringing it in. And what it's doing, it's going to grab us and sling us back out into space. Have I already used this tank? I don't think I have. Come on. Are we going to be able to do it? How much fuel am I going to have to burn? I'm going to have to pick up a lot more speed. It looks like it's pulling us just closer into the center there. What if I put... No, we're actually losing it now. Damn it, okay. Um, how about we line up... I'm gonna line up right there, but move it over just a little bit. Try to line up on this, this red line here. And once we're there, just... We're gonna have to kind of floor it. Pick up a lot of speed right there. No, stay even. I at least want to stay on the red line. If we can come back maybe in along the equator. See, what I'm trying to do is I'll, I need to figure out how to adjust my orbits in flight when things go wrong. Because I'm not ever going to use some type of orbit calculator or be good at it. I need to be able to, to fix my fudging is what I need to be able to do. Okay. This is where we're going to go. Let's cut it at about a quarter tank of fuel. Okay, cut it now. That'll be the last bit of fuel we'll have. And this is our new orbit. Wow. Holy hell, that's an orbit. That sends us way out there. Did not know it was going to send us that far out. I should have been paying a little bit more attention to this. But we do have, it looks like, two chances to be picked up into Mun orbit here. Oh boy, I'm just going to fast forward it here. Yeah, but I think we have two chances to be picked up by Mun. Once is whenever we pass right here, and once is whenever we pass right here. As for how long it's going to take that to happen, I have no idea. Let's fast forward it here for just a little bit. Hopefully we stay in, in orbit around Kurth. I'd hate if we accidentally got blown away by the sun. Man, I've never had an orbit this large before that was actually sustained. Normally, any time I go much further than Mun, I get thrown out into into space to orbit the sun for all eternity. Oh boy, this is going to take forever. It, took, it would have taken four... Oh boy. Never mind, I think I did get sucked out into orbit around the sun. Yeah. Solar wind sucked us away. So Kerbin is our home planet. I thought it was Kurth, but apparently it's Kerbin. Kerbin is orbiting the sun at 900, 284 meters per second. We are orbiting the sun at 9,313 and rising meters per second. We're actually gaining speed as we go around the sun. Um, our orbit is going to be pretty much different than Kurth's or Kerbin's. We'll never see Kerbin again. We are already a long ways away from it. Nine hours later. Farewell, Kerbin. We will miss you forever. Endeavor, endeavor, endeavor. Okay, I'm gonna use the last bit of my fuel here. Don't shake apart. For some reason, it's super fast for. Quit. Quit. Are you gonna quit fast forwarding for me? Is that all you wanna do? I don't know what the hotkey is to slow things down, dang it. Well, damn. 
Maybe once you get into the, into the orbit of the sun, you can't um, slow yourself down. What I wanted to do was adjust my ship and do a, a burn and try to speed us up so that we would maybe leave the orbit of the sun. Or we could do a retrograde burn, try to slow ourselves down so that we get pulled into the sun. But... Can't actually, I can't actually unpause anything for some reason. It's, Wait, wait, there we go. The comma and period keys work, but I couldn't actually click on it up there. Okay, well. Awesome. I guess it, sometimes it pays to just mash keys on the keyboard. Let's see. I'm not sure we could actually leave the orbit of the sun. We picked up a total max speed of... There you go. 9,345 meters per second. So we're actually orbiting faster than our, our planet now. We started out with speed from our planet. That's why we're orbiting so fast. We picked up our planet's speed, and then we added to it. And I think we're going to continue to add to it. So, we're not going to hit a retrograde burn. I think what we'll do is... Where are you at? There we go. Bring that around. We're just going to do a full burn into the course we're already heading. And pick up as much speed as possible. Okay, floor it! You're never going home, Kerbals. Wait. That's not retrograde, is it? Surely not. Wait. Go back. Go back. It doesn't matter. We're out. We're out of fuel. <clears throat> okay, well, I don't think that affected our orbit around the sun very much at all. But there you go. That's what our Kerbals are going to be doing for the rest of their lives. Unless somehow Kerbin manages to quickly mount a rescue mission. Hey, look, you can see it. That's so cool. They're going to model the whole solar system at some point, I bet. I don't, don't don't take my word for it. I don't know. But I hope they do. Hey, Periapsis, we just passed it. Awesome. Okay, I think we'll scrub this mission. I'm actually going to call this video here. And whenever we come back, I don't know what we'll do. We'll continue to build some more stuff here. Just a real quick audio test here. Going back to Kerbal Space Program tonight, and um, more tells on the way, I think. And um, you know, real quick, we'll just load up a game here. Load up one of the rockets. I want to hear how loud they are. Let's do the Impossible Shuttle because this thing is absolutely ridiculous. And I actually made it to Mun with this. If you believe that. I don't. I don't believe it, but I did. Oh, this is the shark back, the shark tooth mating shuttle. And it is a beast. Unfortunately, it has a tendency to overheat at full throttle. And it has some other downsides that become apparent over the course of the flight. Calm down, kids. I'll turn this motherfucker around. I'll do it. Don't. No. F motherfucker. Yeah, that's... That's one of the things. Um, let's see. Let's try that again. Turn on SAS. Unfortunately, my RCS don't actually work. Because I'm not sure how to hook them up to this shuttle yet. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of force on this on this linkage between the shuttles here just a little bit of force on them not very aerodynamic either I'm surprised this one hasn't managed to break this wing right off these are these are all individual parts on this main shuttle here this big one it's made up of like seven or eight parts these shuttles are just one piece a, pe a piece and the cute little fins that don't belong. Calm down back there. Come on, just let us get into space before you two start doing this shit. Come on. No, you're... You know what? You're pushing it. Okay. I'll take you guys out, out to Space Donalds later. Just calm down. We're still rising, thankfully. We Let's all swing together. 
This always calms them down when you do big, huge, swooping swings like this. Oh, fuck. Come on, just... No, oh god. I was gonna say just stay above the horizon. Maybe we could have made it into space. Hey, there goes something. One of our engines, no doubt. Can I trigger anything else? No. Hey, there goes an engine. Wow. A smoke trail. Let's see if we can land this bad boy. Thankfully, the command module here, the cockpit, actually survived the explosion. Everybody's thrilled as can be. Well, they're not thrilled, but they're just like, yep, yeah, this, is, this is okay. It could be worse. Bill, don't, don't even think about it. No. No, go back to drinking your little juice box there. Everything's gonna be fine. We're just taking a vacation in the desert. Uh, coming in really damn quick. These are my little RCS modules. Unfortunately, they don't work, as you can tell. 2,000 feet, yeah, we're... Okay, say goodbye, Kerbals.